So good day Kabaro. This is our bridge swing port side Panama RPM indicator. So we are here in the port side bridge swing. So we have here a problem that it takes us a long time to troubleshoot. So the problem here is that the main engine R RPM indicator indicates in wrong direction. If the command is ahead, the uh, RPM goes to astern direction. And if the command is astern, the RPM indicates to ahead position. So this problem was uh, discovered by uh, T-Sport Yoki Pilot last uh, June 2022 when we are in T-Sport Yoki when the vessel was in port side alongside. So, all of the RPM indicator on this vessel, like in engine control room, emergency control stand, chief engineer cabin, here on the bridge, and in the starboard side, wing Panama, are all correct except this port side bridge wing indicator. So, after the vessel was totally alongside, the pilot made a report to harbor master that we had a problem with main engine RPM indicator here in uh, bridge swing port side. So we cannot sell unless it is rectified. So we tried to rectify the problem by our own RD, uh, by our own idea. So this is the old RPM indicator. The command is a stern, but the indicator goes to head direction. So first, uh, first thing that we did is uh, we check the uh, RPM indicator by our own idea. So we check the um, wiring connections of uh, RPM indicator and then we try to check the PCB, clean the PCB and then we reset the DPO or the digital processing unit by cutting off the power and then after a couple of seconds we on again but uh, unfortunately we did not find the solution so when we test the RPM indicator the RPM indicator indicates in wrong direction so this is the time that we uh, made a report and then uh, seek an advice to the Maker. So, in order that the uh, our vessel can sail or we can depart, so the owner report this trouble to classification society. So, our classification society is DNB, DNB. So, after the owner report it to the DNB, the DNB issued us a dispensation letter that uh, we will uh, fix the problem so that we can sale so the first instruction of the maker or the kongsberg so the maker is kongsberg so is to check the engineering units value in ros or remote operating station or the other thing that we called is the alarm monitoring system in the uh, engine control room so through the instruction of the kongsberg we try to check the engineering units value of the of this uh, bridge swing panama port side indicator so we found out that the engineering units value is uh, positive 150 high and negative 150 low maybe you are confused of this uh, what i'm talking about but uh, later i will show you uh, what are these engineering units value so as per instruction of the Kongsberg uh, we have to change the value to minus 150 and positive 150 low so after we change the value to minus 150 high and positive 150 low so we test the engine because we are in the anchorage in um, Black Sea so we try to start the engine and after that uh, we found out that the after changing the engineering units value 
they are PM fluctuates on both sides. So the RPM indicator or bridge swing port side did not steady on the position. It always fluctuates from astern or in ahead direction. So after that, we uh, made a report that uh, this is the situation on board. After we change the engineering unit's value, the RPM fluctuates. So this is the RPM indicator after we change the setting to negative high and positive low engineering units value. The RPM is fluctuating in both directions. Okay. Uh, Kongsberg sent us again an another instruction. So they give us instruction to check the main engine overspeed. If this indicator will uh, move if we test the overspeed so we try to uh, check the main engine overspeed uh, through sa sa simulation process so uh, one person is on the engine control room um, increasing the rpm through simulation and uh, another person on the bridge checking the RPM indicator if it is moving. So when you test the overspeed of main engine, also this indicator, uh, RPM indicator must move. So we confirmed that the, after uh, testing the overspeed, the uh, RPM indicator moves when the RPM increase in uh, astern or in ahead position. So again, we made a report and send it to the Kongsberg. After that uh, confirmation, the Kongsberg uh, gave us instruction that uh, maybe the this uh, RPM indicator is uh, damaged. So they asked the owner to uh, purchase a new RPM indicator for the port side bridge swing Panama. So, we make a requisition of this RPM indicator and it takes uh, about uh, more than one month to arrive in here on board. So, so after I received the new RPM indicator in uh, uh, Pirayos, Chris, so I did not uh, install it uh, while at sea because I am afraid that uh, maybe we have some short, cir short circuit. Uh, when we install it while the engine is running so I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll wait to uh, arrive the vessel here in uh, Oran, Algeria and after Anchorage we installed the new R RPM indicator but <laughs> unfortunately the new uh, RPM indicator has the same problem with the old indicator so I so the setup now is positive 150 minus 150 low. Positive 150 high and uh, negative 150 low. So that the command is ahead but the pointer goes to Aster. So the setup is uh, high minus 150, low positive 150. So that's it. Uh, the indicator is fluctuating. Yeah. Anong command? Aster. Command is Aster. The setup is high minus 150 and the the low is a positive 150. The command is Aster. It's fluctuating. Yeah. Automatically, I made a report to the owner that the RPM indicator uh, has the same situation with the old RPM indicator and then the Kongsberg uh, gave us instruction to ch uh, check the voltage is, uh, if the voltage is fluctuating the value in the ROS the, if, the, uh, if the command in ahead 
the value is just for example uh, if the command is a uh, head um, this law head so the rpm is 45 if the value is positive 45 and if the command is a stern the value is negative uh, 45 in this law so we check it and everything was fine in ROS or remote operating station so we made also again a report that uh, everything that they are asking is in fine condition so uh, after that I decided to uh, ask the owner if I can directly contact the Kongsberg and we will made a, a video call so that they can uh, they can uh, know the uh, situation here on board so what is the uh, situation of this RPM indicator and then the owner um, give us the number of the Kongsberg so oh, we have a signal in Anchorage and then we make a video call so as the so the rpm indicator finally they recognize the trouble and they ask me and the electrician to check the dpo 22 so by the way this rpm uh, indicator have two dpo uh, dpo 21 and DPO 22 and DPO are uh, located below the steering wheel cabinet so this is the cabinet side of it is 21 on the left side and on the right side that is DPO 22 so below that this is the DPO power supply. So this is the power supply that supply the 24 volts to M indicate the DPO. Both of these DPO must have the same value in order not to fluctuate. So the DPO 21 uh, if, it, if it has a minus 150 high and uh, positive 150 low, the DPO 22 must also have minus 150 high and positive 150 low. So what happened here before is the DPO 21, we already changed to minus 150 high and the DPO, uh, the a low value is positive 150 but we did not change the uh, DPO 22 so the the default setting of this uh, vessel is positive 150 high and minus 150 low except on the port side uh, bridge swing Panama indicator because it has uh, different directions of the indicator you have to change it to minus 150 high and positive 150 low in both uh, digital processing unit 21 and 22 so maybe when we are in dry dock so we have a series of uh, blackout so maybe the uh, computer or the ROS default was reset to the original setting so we have already i think three ports when we discovered this trouble after dry dock that the uh, value of this bridge swing port side indicator has changed to uh, normal default setting or remote operating station or what we call the alarm monitoring system so we go to home after pressing home we go to system overview and then after system overview key check uh, 500 overview Cabinet number one, 
we will find the DPO 21 and 22 in uh, 19 stations. So we can find this uh, DPO uh, in the manual. So this is now the uh, DPOs. So we will find DPO 21 and 22. So we will scroll the up or down button. So this is um, DPO 19 slash 21. So we can find this DPO in manual. So we will find the uh, bridge wing port side Panama uh, RPM indicator. So this is the port wing RPM indicator Panama. We will double click that one. So we will click the uh, port wing RPM indicator Panama. So this one, I think this one, we will click and then after that, now this is the uh, value here. We have to find the engineering units low and high. So this is it. The engineering unit slow is 150 positive and engineering units value high is negative 150. We have to press the advantage details. After that, we will double click and then we will put the commissioning password. So the password is 41436 and then enter. So after you enter, you can change now the engineering units value. So the port side is minus 150 high and this one, this is minus and the uh, engineering low value is positive 150. So this is the PO21. So that's it. That's it. I have to go to other DPO. DPO 22. Now find the DPO 22 by pressing the scroll page up and down. So this is now the DPO 21 page up and then we will find the DPO 22 so this is the um, side bridge swing Panama indicator so this one port wing rpm indicator panama double click and then we will check the engineering units value the engineering units value of high is minus 150 because we already changed it and the engineering units value of low is positive 150 so so that's it Kabaro when you want to change the engineering units value. So value, as can you see that is the value of RPM when you put the main engine in example in digital ahead. So the RPM of digital ahead is and the RPM of digital astern is negative 45. So that value is the indication of your rpm so that's all the problem is the uh, setting of the dpo was uh, changed to uh, original default setting that's why we have a problem with the rpm indicator so ayun na okay na ayos na ayos na Ayos na. Yun lang pala eh. Ayos na ayos.
wala na wala na magkaiba pala yung siya DPO 19 saka 21 saka 22 kaya nagaplak tweet siya kanina nagpaplak tweet siya stop stop so and then after that we change the value of the DPO 21 and DPO 22 to minus 150 high and positive 150 low and then the uh, trouble was uh, rectified so we check it and test and now the uh, this uh, RPM indicator uh, was back in normal uh, operation so I'm thinking that uh, this old RPM indicator is still okay and I'm just guessing that uh, the only problem is the setting of the engineering units value and the RPM indicator is completely fine.